Today we are back with the new project that is wireless gesture control robot using Arduino and accelerometer. So you can see with the help of finger gestures we are controlling the robot that is we are forwarding and we are pulling it back we are turning it left and we are also turning it right. So with the help of simple gesture you can control the motion and direction of the robot. So how to make this robot let's get started. So before that we want to inform you this video is sponsored by AIPCBA who are the biggest PCB manufactured company in China. Just you need to upload the Gerber file and once you upload the Gerber file you can simply view the 3D view like how your PCB look. So let me show you. So here you can see the PCB view. So this is the back view and this is the front view. You can also see the thickness and it's very wonderful. So simply what you need to do is upload the Gerber file and fill the details and then quit and then order. So I have received the PCB from AIPCBA within 7 days. So let's unbox it and see how the PCB looks like. So they have sent me the two PCB. One is for transmitter and another is for receiver section. So this looks pretty good. Now let me open it. So you can see uh, they have sent me a 5 PCB so the PCB quality looks very good it's very hard and brittle and it's shining so I have given the link in the description of the AI PCBA from where you can directly upload the Gerber file and order the PCB so this is also the PCB receiver section and it is also pretty good see the block diagram of this project so we have two sections that is transmitter section and receiver section. So tilting motion is sensed by 80 axle 335 3 axis accelerometer. Then it is fed to 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller which processes the code and then it is fed to encoder ST12E. And this is transmitted wirelessly via 432 megahertz transmitter receiver section to receiver section and then decoded again and transmitted. So this is the circuit diagram. So you can see we have used 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller, ADXL 3353 axis accelerometer, ST12E encoder. We have used 3 volt sub point 3 volt supply and we have also used 7805 as a 5 volt supply and simply make this connection like this. So this is the receiver section. The same thing we have used L293D motor driver IC for driving motors, ST12D for decoding and 4 LED for indicating the status of direction. 433 megahertz receiver model is for receiving the signal so this is the transmitter pcb i have given the link in the description from where you can download and order so this is the receiver section pcb so you can see there are two jumpers wire that you need to solder when you receive the pcb so here is a list of component actually the component list is too long i have also mentioned the component list on the website from where you can purchase this so just purchase all this component and then finally you can go for a robot so i have soldered all the required component on pcb so this is the transmitter section we have 8 mega 328 microcontroller this is 7805 voltage regulator ic this is adxl 335 3 axis accelerometer we have encoder ic that is st12e and we have used transmitter of 433 megahertz rf module and we have used this antenna for fading the signal wirelessly so we are using 9 volt simple battery for supplying the power so this is the receiver section which is mounted on the robot chassis and the base so we have two ic one is l293 motor driver ic and decoder ic that is st12d so this is the receiver and i have also soldered an antenna here for receiving the signal so this can simply mount it here. So we have four LED that indicates what is the status. And four LED is uh, connected via four register up to 20 ohm. And then we have used two DC gate motors of 200 RPM. So this can be directly connected to l 293 d motor driver IC and we have used is for turning. Two wheels are also mounted to it and we are controlling it using 4.5 volt and 1.5 ampere battery so this is just a double a battery that can be used in this project so just connect to it now we'll control the motion so you can see mighty tilting on hand 
the connection motion is controlled. Now let's see the programming. So this is a simple program. We have SN, N, X, N, Y pin two, pin number A naught and A one, and we have four directional pins for indicating the four status from encoder and decoder IC. So 13, 4, 12, 11, and 10 is the output to encoder. As we have four motions, so this is just reading the analog value, and we are mapping the value from 0 to 1, 0 to 3 to 0 to 2 to 8. 55 so we are doing the same on the y-axis section that is ap2 and ob2 we are also mapping this value so this will be displayed on serial monitor if you want to just check if the project is working or not so now there is a comparison between x-axis and y-axis motion and on that basis the l 293 d motor controls the motion by backward left forward and right so you can see the pin goes high and low and controls the forward and backward motion so this is also the comparison of analog value and then forward motion is controlled so same thing for right turning so in if in case the motion is constant then the motor doesn't move so simply compile the code and then you can upload thank you for watching